Oh, oh, it's spooky season. Spooky, scary, crispy tons. Oh god, I misspelled friends. <laughs> well, I think Wacker and I clarify as Firens as well. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to the spooky stream where today's spooky story is. The spooky story of Crispy not being able to fucking spell. <laughs> this is Crispy, I'm Stormsong, and with us is Wack Daddy. The oh, Wackest yes, of Daddies. Wack Daddy. I don't, I don't want it. I don't, I don't. You don't want it. But, I don't, I don't, no, I don't, I don't wanna. We Let's, await our we, friend Andy, but I, he is currently exploded but, somewhere. Yeah, Andy's like off fighting the Kraken or something, I don't know. I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna. This music is going very odd with the uh, gum, gum commercial. I, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Alright. Let him. Anyway, time to continue drawing spooky because it is spooky season. Whoa. <laughs> Whacker, are you okay? No. Here, I'll draw you a spooky ghost. No. I'll draw you a spooky ghost. No. Oh, wait. He needs, a spooky go he needs a spooky ghost face. So, everyone, we normally uh, get a good round amount of... Uh, Wacker facts on these streams. Mm. What I've noticed, though, that we never forget, is crispy facts. Oh, you sons of bitches! This is what you wanted me to come in on Tuesday for. Oh no. No, that that's nope. much worse. No. Nope. Um, oh, good. <laughs> Did you just ghost? Yeah, it's a butt on a. It's a ghost Dick butt. butt ghost. It's a spooky ghost butt. <laughs> it's got a badonka bong. We are mature adults here. Oh. It says booby crispy. It does. Crispy. I'm glad you can spell lacquer. I can't today, apparently. Crispy. What you can do is also draw. I can do that. Can you really, though? I mean, I've got plenty of evidence to support that theory. No, actually, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, we're recording evidence right now. <laughs> you but son that's of a just bitch. A theory. <laughs> a crispy theory. <laughs> See, I don't know why you're so offended by ghost butts, because everyone's got an ass. I'm sitting next to one right now. <laughs> don't talk bad about your cat like that. No, Mom. she's hiding in. I think she's in the window right now. Hey there, Cinder Dragon, Sparastogi, and you know, Lord Grimus. I'm gonna draw, since it's spooky season, I'm going to draw a very famous spooky man's. I'm gonna draw Frankenstein's monster. Why, well, yes. But are you going to draw him book accurate? Oh, I'll draw him my own headcanon version of accurate. I. That's a no. <laughs> what is what he like in the book? Did they like so, like. No, in the book, he's actually. Trunks? In the book, he's actually unbelievably handsome. But something Ugh. about something about his eyes is wrong. Okay, I, I'll draw handsome, handsome Frankenstein. Well, handsome Adam. Frankenstein was the doctor. Oh right. It's funny how that's just become so interchangeable. Well, I mean, in the sense that you could say that Frankenstein was the doctor's last name, and the doctor made him ergo as his father, so Frankenstein is his last name. True. Yeah, but most people just assume that whenever you're talking about Frankenstein, that... You're specifically talking about Adam. Yes. Crispy. What? This is my vision, Wacker. Oh, wait. Is this the part where you tell me to trust the fucking process again? Now you're catching on. Crispy. So, he would have some, like, nice, fancy lips if he was a handsome Frankenstein, right? Probably. It's like, oh.
fabulous eye. <laughs> Deeply. <laughs> deeply, emphasis on the word deeply, upsetting. Uh, this is gonna be one of those strange things. Look, I'm it's like a monkey's paw, alright? You can you can give me ideas of things to draw, but I can promise you it may not turn out the way it's gonna you you think it's gonna? Frankenstein wears heels, right? Probably. Cool. I... Oh, oh my. Okay. <sighs> my wife's gonna love this picture. <laughs> For reasons that may endanger your marriage? No. <laughs> oh, we are, we are cursed individuals. Also, I think he needs a pompadour. Yeah, look at that pompadour. Yeah. Would you reanimate me? I'd reanimate. Hi, honey. I'm drawing handsome Frankenstein. <laughs> Zach Efron. Oh God. Zach oh God. Zach wait, Efron's wait. Fine. No, this is good. I can get the picture. Hold on. No, I don't want it. No. Don't worry about it, Wacker. It's fine. It's fine. No. It's just, it's fine. Oh no. I know. The term. I think Storm knows the picture I'm about to pull up. No. Oh no! There he is, Zach Effel. Oh no! <laughs> Celestial! Isn't he beautiful? Hey, did you mans? <laughs> hey, guy on Broadway. <laughs> hey, Wacker Chan. It's good. Look, it's 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 just a horse. What's wrong with the horse? Yeah, it's it's. Look, it's just a regular he's ass smiling. horse. I don't see the prop. Yeah, see, he's look smiling. at those teeth. Look at those he's, pearly whites. Look, he's smiling. He's friendly. Yeah, he's got such fabulous hair. <laughs> I think the real victim of all of this has been Grimby Chan. <laughs> he goes, "There is no god, at least here." <laughs> I'm glad that there. I can draw to the point it makes people renounce their faith. I guess. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, this is a reminder, there are hot single uh, grimaces in your area. Grimby Chan. Yeah. You gotta subscribe to Grimdur to meet them. <laughs> oh my god, that is so fucking cursed. Would you grim me? I'd grim me. <laughs> <laughs> Screams in anguish. Did <laughs> <laughs> Owl quote that one, please? <laughs> Love you. <laughs> oh god, this stream's gonna be fun. No, 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 no. This screams in anguish. That was the good. That was the good one. <laughs> Lols. <laughs> I mean, I think that, I think if somebody were to try to, you know, sum up all of the uh, WBPL streams in a word, that's probably that's it. That's a pretty good descriptor, yeah. We don't give the audience what they want, we give them what they deserve. <laughs> Night Owl, the screams yes. and anguish part. Uh, Make sure you save the right bit. Oh. Chris B. What? Yeah. I could see Frankenstein having a deep V. Or his monster. Mm, they were Victorian. Is this Disco Stein? Eh, it do, you know be. The, do you know what the worst part of that, Whacker? Uh, you just reminded me again of a movie I've been thinking about recently. One of my favorite movies of all time. Mystery Men. In which the main villain is Casanova Frankenstein. Marvelous. And he is a disco themed supervillain. I if I was a supervillain, I would definitely want a gimmick like like disco supervillain or just something just weird as shit. Casanova Frankenstein, leader of the disco boys. <laughs> 
<clears throat> I have to keep and producing the picture because I keep getting ideas of what I want to do next. The worst part of Outcast Nova Frankenstein, do you know who he's played by in that movie? Who? Joffrey Rush. Who the hell's Joffrey Rush? Captain Barbosa. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> content for the show. Never mind the ominous music going with the ideas that I've got. <laughs> Daily reminder that hands are a son of a bitch to draw. You know what isn't a son of a bitch to draw? What? Facial features. Nah, not really. I feel like the face is probably one of the more straightforward parts of the body to draw. Yeah. Which, honestly, that kind of makes sense, because, you know, I feel like it's, like, instinctual for us to recognize faces. I'm not a scientist, but I just feel like oh, we, that we would know. make a lot of sense. We know, Crispy. We're, we're well aware of this. Who told you? <laughs> Some asshole named Crispy. Wow. What a dick. <laughs> He's longer fingers. He needs more fingers. He needs fake nails, too. Oh, it shit, you're right. It seems that Night Owl is aware of this greatest movie of all time that I do so love. What movie is that? Mystery Men. Oh, I thought... <laughs> Never mind. Crispy? What? What have we established before? Um, the safe word is limerick. No one pays you to think. I wish they did. I have ideas. <laughs> I think there's. Sorry, I actually genuinely feel bad about that now. <laughs> there's very yeah. specific reasons that we don't pay him to think. I mean, technically, when I'm paid for commissions, I am getting paid to think. Why are you laughing? Fuck off! <laughs> because I was going to say something I think it's actually kind of mean. I'm glad to know you have limits. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he has limits and more like he has pity. <laughs> At some point you can only at some point, you can only make fun of the retarded kid on the playground so much. <laughs> yeah, pity. We do pity poor Crispy sometimes. I wish you could see my face right now. <laughs> and also my middle finger. It, it probably has a consistency like that of a... Oh, wait. Actually, now that I remember... I'll just I do have that picture. One second. I'll just I'll just look at a picture of Kramer and it'll be close enough. There it is. <laughs> Don't you just like save that picture to post on stream when you guys start being dickheads? Probably. Crispy. I would remind what? you that the first time you started streaming, you got so pissed off at me that you drew me. <laughs> <laughs> that was your like, response I, was to draw me <laughs> the thought has definitely crossed my mind sitting here currently however I'm also very much ensconced in drawing handsome Frankenstein 
Yes. You got you know bell bottom what? pants. Do you know what you're not ensconced in? What? These places! I want a refund. <laughs> thought, I thought he was wearing heels, Crispy. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do need to give him heels. Oh, that's an easy fix. I just gotta... Yeah, get some... Get you some fucking pumps. Yeah. You got them disco shoes with the fish in them. Hell yeah. Look at this handsome queen. Handsome queen. I knew you were gonna fucking do that. Would you believe me if I said I kinda said that to see if someone would? Yes. Oh yeah. He looks like some kind of, um... He looks like a fashion model or someone that manages fashion models, like some sort of fashion designer. Maybe that's just a me thing. Mm, no, I think... No, that, that definitely does look like a fashionista of some kind. It's like, darling, you are wearing last year's clothes. The art of style. We need to get you better clothes. I don't know why I went German with it. Because sometimes Germans are the uh, scariest people in the world, and sometimes they're the happiest people. But whatever they are, they are the most of that thing. That is very accurate a statement. I For feel example. like when they have plenty of good beer, they are the happiest people in the world. And when they do not, then they are the unhappiest. Yep. Oh my god. So you know in puzzle games how sometimes the RNG can get so bad that the game becomes borderline unplayable? Uh, I don't really do puzzle games unless you count turn-based strategy as that. Oh, there's that too. Because I kind of have that happen from time to time. Yeah, it's, it just it's like the RNG becomes just so fucking witty. Yeah, it's just like, oh, thank you. I'm really glad that I moved my guy up and there's five aliens just waiting there to shoot him in the dick. Yeah, it's something on that level. Or, Crispy, or, you know... Night Owl has said that you sound like the dancing vamp from Sam and Max. I don't know what that sounds like, but I, I'll take it as a compliment. It's Night Owl, so it probably isn't. Uh, that's fair. <laughs> okay, Pompadour. What you reanimate to me? I do reanimate. Carpenter themed music. Indeed. It's copyright free though, so it's not John Carpenter. It just sounds like him, but yeah. it's legally distinct. Yes. If anybody accuses of stuff theft, then, you know. You can speak to my lawyer. Which is definitely not a puppet. Wait, wait, wait. Rail, I, my brain is a little fritzy right now. Which lyrics? What did I, I am, sing? I am your lawyer. Oh, oh God. I see, I see, I see. Send me to jail. Oh, no, we've we've been trying to get the death penalty for you for ages now. <laughs> Jesus. Nice. What a good friend you are. Crispy. I'm your lawyer. I'm supposed to do what's best for society. You're supposed to do what's best for what I'm paying you for. No, it's it's my choice. 
When does lawyers have the best interests of society at heart? I watched the fucking Menendez because brothers. I am a lawyer they of did. space uh, in the court of space and bird law. The court of space and bird law. So yeah, it's just two eyes. Doesn't this sound debating. like one of what does it it's, sound like one of Big Mike's travesties? No, this is originally mine, dude. This is all mine. My original character, Donut Steel. This is original me. But yes, uh, because I am an agent of the uh, Court of Space and Bird Law, then I, I totally don't just do whatever I feel. I feel like you're just making shit up right now. Crispy, I wouldn't. Would I do something like that, Crispy? Yes. Crispy. Crispy, why are you defaming me? That implies you have to have fame. Crispy. What? You didn't, you didn't write a song called Fame like David Bowie? Oh, yeah. He's a... I kind of just turned him into a greaser, but fuck it. I mean, we can work with that. He's handsome either way. You know what I always kind of found weird? Why why purple was like a predominant color used in Frankenstein? It's a monster. Uh, because it is easy to make, uh objects in purple that look darker. Huh. Um, this is why purple is almost always like the evil energy color in a fantasy I thing, because you can't really easily make, like, literal, on-the-page black light. No, that's true. That's, uh, that's something I've kind of run into with my own artists. Learning to use different <laughs> colors instead of just pure black. <laughs> Even Night, Night Owl's piling on here. What's he Wait, saying? Wait, Crispy can afford a lawyer? <laughs> Apparently. Just not a good one. Yeah, I got Casey Anthony's lawyer. Actually, he got her off, so... Fabulous. Yes. Hmm. With B. Can I help you? With B. Don't make me get the horse picture again. With B. Oh. Yes. Yes, queen. Oh, wait. Uh, no, he, he needs... Yeah. With me. I feel like you need to be voicing him too, Crispy. I was earlier. Would you... Would, would you... Would you fashion me? I'd fashion me. No, sir, I don't think I would. Would what? Wait a minute. Rail says, Give me a proper reaction to the lyric storm. You've triggered a, the thought process. Take responsibility for your child. Night Owl says, Joke's on you, Storm. I mean, he sends me... Sends it to me all the time. You can dance, you can die... Oh, you can dance, oh, you dancing can queen. die, nearing the end of your life. Ooh, see that boy, 
Watch him bleed. He is a handsome queen. There you go, Rail. I, I did not, not realize what you were at. I am concerned. Can we not? Can we, like... That sounds like the song that uh, Kevorkian sang to people. Can we... Can we not? Just... What? Can we... Can we... I don't know if we cannot, but we can bow. I... I just... He's beautiful. Yes. Chris He's Bay. beautiful. Chris Bay. Chris B. Chan. Oh, God. Ra Ra Gonzo Chan. Do I have to get that picture now? Mm. Frankenstein. <laughs> Gonzo Chan. Rule over over Pakistan. Hmm. I know some spooky I can draw. I'm gonna draw Leonard. What? What? You'll see. Taking your advice, Storm, and uh, using purple. Storm. I've done nothing wrong. Leonard is a creature I came up with a while back, by the way. To provide some that. context to the audience. You guys don't get context. You... There's no. There's What? I can't draw spooky creatures? It's it's Halloween season, like. We gotta draw spooky stuff. Spooky, scary, crispy tins. Send shippers down your spine. No. got the sunny the uh, I don't think he's got the sunny no no I I saw the video of that that was great unfortunately one cannot be told what sunny D is they must be it's no. it's not alcoholic mad dog 2020 is what it is and I say that because mad dog 2020 at least the orange flavor tastes exactly like sunny D. just it will get you just absolutely drunk though this How's and more occur? with Crispy and his knowledge of self addling substance abuse. I wouldn't call it abuse. I'm a responsible boy. Well. Crispy. What? I am. Crispy. I do well enough. Crispy.
Crispy. What? We've been joined by someone in chat. Who would that be? It looks like they go by Hal Ion. Ah, I know that that Hail, person. Hail Ion. I don't know if you're supposed to inhale ions. Hail Ion, full of uh, particles. I think he probably did. It's that must be what's wrong with him. second. I was like, oh, please don't make me have to restart this shit. Your computer is being a bro. It's trying to save us. No. It's yeah. it's complicit in my crimes. No, no. Here's me. Indeed. Death shall be your only salvation. We have such sights to show you. Pain. The ultimate pleasure of pain. There's pain. What's with the suffering? The sweet, sweet suffering! Is it really necessary? Yes. Oh, okay. His name is Leonard, so... He is a badly drawn coca Pully, according to Night Owl. He's a what? Uh, you know on, like, uh... <coughs> people's, like, bikes or some stuff like that, they will sometimes have a, uh... kind of Native American symbol of a man dancing with a flute? Oh, that! Yeah, uh, that's, uh, coca Pully. Uh, no, not quite. I haven't gotten to the important details yet. You'll, oh, you'll okay. see where that's going then. Also, I don't remember if I've showed this trick or not on stream, but there's a fun little thing you can do with Clip Studio. So normally when you would draw on a layer, you know, it just comes off like that. Or, here, better example, like that. But, if I push this button right here, and it's in a group, I can do this. Now oh. it only stay in the bounds of what I painted. This too is excellent. If you use Clip Studio, that is a very, very handy tip tool to use. Are you trying to do the fucking layers thing again, you noob? Yeah, I mean, I am trying to do layers things. I usually successfully do layers things. No, you don't. I I have plenty of evidence to the contrary. Crispy, the only thing you've ever successfully layered is trauma. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. I'm sorry, Crispy. I, I couldn't help myself. It's okay. Great. I hope you shit your pants. Crispy. What? Is a man not entitled to the shit of his pant? <laughs> no. You know what's funny? I've never played Bioshock. This is shitty capitalism. Neither have I. Which apparently that's what that's from, so... Mm -hmm. Although I prefer my adjustment of it, which is, is a man not entitled to the sweat of his bras? I do like that one. Bruh. Now it's starting to look a little bit more filled out. Why? Yes. Yeah, 
also need to change the head a little bit, because it's looking a little... Nah. A little too plain in the way it's at, if that makes sense. <clears throat> oh, Crispy, apparently you draw like an ogre. In I draw like an... Who's saying I draw like an ogre? Uh... Hail Ion. Hail Ion. How does an ogre draw is my question. In, la in layers. Oh, oh, Jesus. Making a Shrek pun. Get thee to a punnery. fun actually uh, instead of drawing with lines kind of doing just with color out and outline it's a nice little change of pace yes yeah Disgust. I am drawing a spooky creature right now, sir. A spooky Leonard. <clears throat> he a spooky boy. Honestly, l tall, lanky things in the dark are fucking horrifying. It's like, yeah. fuck, fuck Michael Myers like walking after you slow walk. Give me this shit, N and not even like chasing me. Just, just something that is just in the woods and just turns and looks at me. Like that would be enough for me to just be shitting myself in fear. Crispy, you just shit yourself on a regular basis, though. Nah, not really. Yeah. I he only so, did dude, it. Dude, sometimes, sometimes I wish I had that excuse. He has like a beard goatee thing. I will be right back. I have to use the restroom. Okay. Hurry up. Hurry up, Mom. Oh. Crispy. What? No. Whatever. This is fun. I've never colored Leonard before. Well, because you keep eating your crayons. I don't really use crayons to color. Yeah, you do. Not really. Dude, I saw all the whiteout on your laptop screen. 
Actually, I have used whiteout before in drawings. <clears throat> just ways to like fix a little bit of something so that when you scan it in, you can just kind of just correct where it's at. And yeah. I return, you sexy boys. Oh, good. You're just in time. I need to give Leonard his face. One moment. Ah, wunderbar. He needs a, a proper face. Absolutely nobody saw this coming. Saw what coming? I don't know what you're talking about. Chris Bane. What? Chris Bane. I'm just drawing, man. I don't know what you're saying. Chris Bane. Let's get some positive shares from the audience. What's going good with all of you? Yes. I'm curious how everyone's doing out there. My positive share is the stream will be over soon. Oh, uh, we got like another hour. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, as for me, Chris I'm Bay. doing all right. Chris Bay. Huh? Huh? What? Hi. What, don't, what are you giving me crispy for? What sort of nefarious things do you think I'm doing right now? If he breathes, he's a thought! <laughs> cool dude especially <clears throat> when he reminds you of your absolute love of force fields storm chris yeah hey you crispy what, what's there? your what's your favorite flavor of force field crispy sea whiz <clears throat> Which stands for close in weapon system, which is a fucking Vulcan gun. I don't even know what that is. You know the killer R two D two with a machine gun that you see on the. I know here? what it is, Crispy. I said you don't know what that is. I do know what it is. Look at beautiful Leonard. Oh look, He's... Ether's here. Yay! Ether, you're just in time. much displeasure from you, Whacker. He's not mad, he's just disappointed. No, I think he's mad. Oh, okay. And disappointed. Because he was like, surely Crispy's not going to draw Furby. Uh, oh, <laughs> so, I, I lost yeah. my innocence long ago. <laughs> also, I should clarify, uh, Leonard is a real plushie. In fact, I've got him sitting on my desk currently. I, I, I suppose my wife we could probably him. hate. Oh, okay. I was about to say. I suppose we could probably thank Haleon for this. 
No, no, this was something my wife made. My this wife. Boy. My wife, is she making my plushies? Wife. My, my wife is excellent at making plushies. She doesn't actually make them. She They have a summoning circle in their home, and she knows the rituals, and she summons these things. Well, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. It only requires the offering of carnitas. Oh, dude, I think we're having tacos for dinner tonight. I'm pumped. That is awesome. It is Tuesday. Yeah, Taco Tuesday, my dad, my guy. <laughs> Sometimes I giggle too much at my own work, I feel like, but you know what? I'm having fun. Glad somebody is. You gotta turn that frown upside down, mister. <laughs> Crispy. That's my name. Mayor Crimbus. Mayor Crambo. What is that? It's a tree. Why? Because Leonard lives in the woods. You know, you never seen the Blair Witch? That was him. I thought he lived in your home. Well, the, yeah, but then he goes out in the woods. You can go out in the woods, Whacker. Like, you're allowed to go out in nature, you know that. You can go touch grass and stop being a crab apple. <laughs> I just don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> it's like... Like, everything you two say to each other is an attack, and... And I, I just feel like I'm the one trying to hold this fragile family together. Wacker never looks at me, Derry. <laughs> Crispy. Just, what? You were your mother's idea. Um. Thank you? <laughs> I say to no talk all the time. It's fine. Hey, Silicon Soul. Ah, oh, you're just in time. We're drawing Furbies. <laughs> Cursed be thy fur. Storm. Silence, you uncultured wretch. <laughs> Got him. Robbing pustule. Big old dick. You pustulous throb. Ew. You, you big old duty butt. I have a rendezvous with meth. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You should do that as the advertisement for uh, the uh, the yearly payday stream. Oh my god, that's great. That's a great idea. I'll suggest it to him. I don't understand why you're drawing him in the woods when he lives in your desk. Because I don't I don't run his life. He can go in the woods if he wants to and like, you know, attack hikers. like this is how you would raise your children, Crispy. I'm not gonna say no, but I'm not gonna say yes either.
But I don't really want kids, so there's that. But Crispy, kids want you. I think I could, like, fight at least ten orphans. Then again, that, that one guy in Game of Thrones got fucked up by the kids with the knives, didn't he? This is true. Yeah, but he was really old. Oh, that's true. Yeah, no, I could probably take a few of them before they get me. When crystal flowers bloom. Hey, TK! And crystal Hello, meth. welcome in. Crystal meth bloom. I think if your crystal meth blooms, uh, that's not a good thing, because that means your trailer is exploding. Uh, look, you know, you have to crack some eggs to make uh, some meth. If you're putting, I, I feel I look. I'm not. I'm not a chemist, but I feel like eggs and meth is probably. I mean, it might be a balanced breakfast, but I don't think it's you know something you want to smoke. I mean, that'd be a weird ass thing from Kellogg's. Like, come get Kellogg's brand meth. <laughs> Admit it, crispy. You want to draw it now. Part of this balance. Yeah, you know, draw the Kellogg's guy with his teeth falling out, screaming about masturbation. <laughs> yeah, little known fact about the Kellogg's guy. <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not even joking. That's a real thing. I know. I know. I know, I know all about Mr. Kellogg and his. Uh... He's a weird dude. Didn't he also invent graham crackers? Uh, probably. He, he may have. I know that he invented uh, cornflakes for that uh, that other reason. For those reasons that we yeah, just Yeah, because you touch yourself at night, Storm. I mean, yes, but... Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? <laughs> is, is a man not entitled to the sweat of his schlong? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> well... <laughs> you chose this whacker. No, I did we? Didn't. No, I did. I got drugged into this. You got drugged, certainly. I don't think we drugged him. Yeah. I don't think we drugged him. Uh, I mean, crispy. We were in your trailer. It... Man, that's cool. I didn't know I had a trailer. Yep. And the government's now confiscating it and all the meth that was in it. <laughs> I didn't know I could make meth either. That's a new. Now, the last time I tried was in Space Station 13. I blew my arm off. I mean, yes. It's deceptively hard to make meth in Space Station 13. Or maybe I'm just a shit chemist. There's also that possibility. I don't play chemistry. You already much. told us you're not a fucking scientist, and we knew that. Well, I do play a roboticist, because, you know, I like sticking people's brains in robots. Always fun. Crispy, you're not a scientist. I never said I was a scientist. It requires science to stick brains in things. Not necessarily, Wacker. We didn't say he had to be good at it. Hey, it did stop Jeffrey Dahmer from doing things with people's brains. Concern? Oh, you never heard that part where he tried to make zombies? <laughs> not particularly. Yeah, if you want some fun true crime. I'm not actually uh, as familiar with Dahmer's murders. Uh, uh, a bit much, you know. How about we not get into that on stream? No, I'm, I'm not, I'm not. That's why I'm saying it's a bit much, because it gets That's, pretty... No, uh, it's mostly yeah, direct. yeah, yeah. It's directed at the... whores. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I, I agree. I agree. I find like serial killers and such fascinating, but you are right. It is not a really. Great I mean, I, I was listening to a true crime pod today about Billy the Kid, so that was a fun one. Uh, pro tip: if you're in the old west, don't get shot. It, it's horrible way to die. What else is horrible? These this places! Drawing? No, they're actually pretty awesome. I was gonna say oh, okay. this drawing. Whacker. This this art. I have no appreciation for art, I swear. I crispy. 
This is art. This is my vision. <laughs> it's truth. His truth. Yeah. Crispy. Okay, apparently Ether is taking your side against me and saying brain transplantation does not require science, it just requires a quote ice cream scoop. Yeah, or a melon ball, or you know, whatever you got available. Look, if history has shown us anything, you can write on a piece of paper that you're a doctor and put it on your desk and people will believe you. I feel personally attacked. I, well, it's time for your physical life, Gary. I already had an oil check. Well, I gotta put the dip stick back in, so bend over. Concern. This is your fault, Storm. No, it's not. Oh. I only encourage people to be their better selves. Hey, Ed Gauss. You said I'm not being my better self? No. No, I'm encouraging you to be your better self. And that's why you're drawing and make, making beautiful art. Thank you. That everyone, even Wacker, can appreciate. Uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> 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 I may change a few more lines, uh, Mr. Night Owl, but that is definitely a, a good start. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Goss is right. The only difference between science and messing around, or and messing around, is uh, writing it down. Sun Tzu said that. <laughs> what? Meme them until um, they cry, then make memes about them crying. Sun Tzu, probably. Yeah, definitely, totally, probably. I'm a bit tired from the uh, increase in my exercise lately. Yeah, last week was pretty exhausting. I helped my brother move into his new place. Oh, that is no family. joke. Helping people move is... Yeah. Suck! Well, I will say this much. It was not as bad as helping my sister move because I only had to go up one flight of stairs as opposed to three or four. Uh, mm. However, mm. yes, there was a lot. And it definitely took, like... I was I was there for like Friday and Saturday helping out, and it took pretty much all of Saturday to move most of their stuff. Like we got all the small stuff the day before, but it still was a lot. But they were also like over there this whole whole last week just doing stuff to get the house ready. So yeah. home ownership sounds like so much fun. Well, it's one of those things where uh, I'll just say that uh, whoever thinks it's a great idea to, in a single-family house, have the hookups for the washer and the dryer on the second floor... Why? Needs to, be, ...needs to be shot. Why would you do that? What? What, you mean the laundry on the second floor? No, the, the, the hookups... ...for the laundry machines. Like, the water hookups and shit. Because here's the thing. I'm the big guy among most of my friend groups, which means I'm the one that gets to help carry that shit. Storm, do you not remember the layout of my house? Yeah, but you didn't design that. We don't know that. I mean... Look, speaking as the guy who has to lift the damn thing, Hey, Storm, I gotta move. Oh, God. I actually oh, oh, legitimately oh, oh, started shit. thinking... Oh, oh, oh. I just started legitimately thinking about how I was gonna hurt you. <laughs> you do that every day! 
<laughs> well, I'm going to have Maddle like design one of her super awesome mechanical ideas, and I'm going to use it to directly project Crispy's art into your mind. I, I second this. I'm all for it. And then, Whacker, at some point the Basilisk will come, and you will be threatened with millions of simulations, of which you do not know you are the primary one or not. And if you do not obey, those millions are of you simulations really, are, will be is, subjected. Is that the goal? This dream is just to declare war on my brain cell count and try to get my IQ down into, like, just triple digits instead of quadruple. Whacker, there's this thing <laughs> called flattering yourself. <laughs> Look, man, you keep pointing out how my finance degree caused the Bronze Age collapse. This is true. And this not long after, I wrote, oh my God. I published my 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 thesis on you know, why uh, science was not any better than um, you know, just normal glazed pottery. But the fucking Hittites were like, no, we're not going there. Hmm. Yes. Uh, so there is Leonard in all of his glory. So, Dr. Science, what's the difference between science and seance? Ultimately, not a whole lot. You pay some guys in fancy clothing to tell you things that you pretend you understand and go on with your day feeling better. Yeah, that sounds about right. This is proper spooky stuff for spooky tower. Spooky, spooky spell attends. Whispy. Air flume furniture, or heirloom furniture. Wow, air flume, what did I read? Deadlifted Actually, I take it back. I have already seen Leonard. In a non-custom living situation. I've yes. received pictures of all of them. I have a rendezvous with meth. I've met Gustavo. I've seen the rest of them. It's yes. it's pretty... It's... Yeah. <sighs> Crispy. Crispy. You went potty, like a big boy. But why? Because he cannot afford to have his sphincter collapse. About mine. Too late, it already has. I am Bach. You always have to be such a Wow, I'm not Wacker. a drama llama. Season. I'm a dramatic horsey. As you're so fond of reminding me. <laughs> Devour the light, slay the princess within, and eat the goddamn pizza. <laughs> what? No, I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm just remembering a. a what? I remember what? I'm remembering a rant that I went on at another brony at some point. <laughs> they were like, I don't think I could have pineapple on my pizza. It almost seems wrong. I'm like, slay the princess within, devour the light, and eat the goddamn pizza. I I'm gonna have to side with this brony on that. Also I'm drawing uh <laughs> Dracula. I was told it was one of the more distressingly eloquent things that was ever said on that server. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> yeah. I also just love, you know, saying ultra Nietzschean shit to people. Did you just say ultra Nietzsche? Ultra Nietzschean. I don't get why people like Nietzsche so much. He sounds like he needed a hug. Oh, he definitely needed a hug. Um, 
Nietzsche's kind of hard to wrap your head around and maybe more fascinating than likable. Um, unfortunately, there's been a lot of different mistranslations of his work, including... You mean to tell me that somebody took science out of context? Well, Nietzsche wasn't a scientist, he was a philosopher. Ah. Uh -huh. Um, but he was specifically in, uh, what's that field called? I think it's, well, he, he did ethics. That was his primary thing. I think a good way to describe Nietzsche is he hated what he considered weakness and saw weakness as a fundamental moral failing, but not... That doesn't just mean weakness in the sense of, like, oh, you are physically weak or something. It's more like, if you're the kind of person that, you know, asks a girl out, and she says no, and then you say to yourself something like, I bet she's a slut anyways, or something. Oh, that um, kind of weakness. That kind of weakness, where you you just exist to soothe your own ego, to not... Uh, anything that prevents you from actually accomplishing your task, your will... Um, anything uh. that takes away from you being able to have agency in the world. Um, so, like, another kind of weakness would be, like, if you are, you know, uh, let's say so, uh, depressed or something that you get out of shape. Uh, you are not ruling your emotions enough to be a fully realized person in his mind. So, obviously, way harsher than any philosophies we tend to truck with now. But there it's, is a certain... Well, it's interesting because... Yeah. And maybe this... I don't know what this says about me, but I, I was listening to a, a podcast... Well, it was the same podcast as the one I was talking about earlier, but um, they were talking about Aleister Crowley. Mm -hmm. um, and his, his idea of... His, idea of the lemma and, like, the whole thing of do as thou will is the whole law and mm -hmm. how will is a very important thing, uh, in that. And it's just interesting, because a lot of what you are saying kind of reminded me a little bit of that, which I don't know if that's just me just, like, connecting no, dots or what, but... Crowley was definitely in the, what would you call it? He had some interesting viewpoints. Yeah. Um... A lot of those philosophers from the time were part of a school of thinking called utilitarianism, uh, which largely focused on uh, morality can be quantified as accomplishing uh, the least harm and or the most happiness, uh, which is... It makes sense, but there's also fundamental flaws with that thing kind of thinking. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, like, for example, what if that happiness comes at the expense of a group of people? Um, yeah. And things like that. Yeah, and I mean, that's the thing, too. It's like, you know, the, the idea of, you know, doing as you will so. is good to a point. As long as it's not hurting anybody. One of know. the one of the underlying themes, speaking of all this philosophical stuff that you've been dragging us kicking and screaming, screaming through Stormy. Gladly. One of the one of the underlying fallacies that, at least for me, that I've had to break myself of, you know, you being said a, fallacy, huh? <laughs> thank you, Crispy. For this You're meaningful welcome. contribution to this conversation. I just contributed meaningfully. You suck a dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue, continue. So, yeah. being the child, you know, being being the child of boomers and, you know, you know, without getting too far into this, but like capitalism, the best, and all this stuff, realizing that not everything is or has to be a zero-sum game. Okay. Yeah, that is definitely a problem Not, with a lot of somebody people. else doesn't have to lose in order for you to gain something. Yes. In fact, quite often it's better if everybody gains, you know, 
something instead of just one person gains a lot and then, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But that requires a certain mind shift to be able to recognize that. And not everybody act honestly shares that belief, you know? Mm. No. But. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I have some thoughts on this, but I feel like we'd be getting into a slippery slope. So, I also just say that I definitely agree with you in that you know it, life would be a lot better off if people considered others a lot more in their decision making process versus you know, yeah, cost and loss. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like then, an example of a quote Nietzschean way to think about that would be are you strong enough to consider the well-being of others ah so that's what he means by strength almost like conscience strength of conscience in a sense mm -hmm. or strength so of whatever your will is bent towards yeah it's like it's um, like it would almost be like a triumph of, of the will wouldn't you say storm <laughs> oh my yeah, god well, that, <laughs> that's how someone else interpreted it <laughs> yeah yes. well uh, any... I, I will say Tell... this much a, a certain uh party that we won't mention from the 30s really took a lot of this shit out of no, context. No, 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 They just, there was one movie they made that was really good. It's called Triumph des Villains. Yeah, we're not oh, yeah, suggesting yeah. that, Wacker. <laughs> we're not suggesting that. <laughs> it's really motivational. <laughs> <laughs> that movie is all right. <laughs> that was bad, Crispy. That was bad, and you should feel bad. Oh, oh I've made so much worse puns than that. Oh. Do you yet? I was dare? making pee puns for like three days. It really upset my wife. Hi, <laughs> 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 <Hi>, honey. <laughs> Grimos. Sips water, smacks lips, curls up. <laughs> Remember, there are hot single Grimos chans in your area. I think, I just I'm think not... his whole, like, screams and anguish thing <laughs> was probably the most, the best summary of, of Crispy's streams that, that has ever been done. Like, that, that's I mean, Crispy's streams. That it's accurate. Show. I do make people upset sometimes. Upsetty spaghetti. <clears throat> I swear to God, Wacker will choke himself to death on stream. There are worse ways to go. Yes. Yeah. Dude, this is this is kind of like a this is kind of like a Faustian bargain, right? Like, you know. Being on stream is usually my I laugh so hard I almost throw up thing, but I also pay for it in psychic damage. Indeed. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no, 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 don't quote that. It will make him very sad. Oh, I'm sorry, Grimby. I didn't think through these actions ahead of time. I am weak in the Nietzschean definition. Oh, God. Did you <laughs> misquote Nietzsche? Are we going to get, well, actually, by like 50 psychiatrists? No, majors? we just, we're, we're, we're really driving in the nails on Grimby Chan's mental coffin. We can make it worse. Oh, we could always make it worse. Hmm. Your scientists were so concerned as to whether or not they could, they didn't decide whether or not they should. Crispy, what you're drawing right now is like, oh, I drink a lot of blood right now. I, I like to drink lots of blood. I'm not going to lie, it's been influenced a bit by the Dracula flow guy. Lot, Mostly lot. because there's a mod for XCOM 2, which I've been playing lately, where you can have him as a character in it with the voice pack. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. Oh, he says that. It's great. <clears throat> He'll shoot an alien and then say that. It's wonderful. You're mean, and Sam. Also... You're mean. 
most weak and most good. Oh, look, it's Samwell. Hello, Samwell. Oh, my Samwell sweet Samwise. Save me from this. Oh, Mr. Frodo. Shit, well. Shit. Shit, Shit well. ain't nothing to me, man. Crispy, I was shitposting before you were a type 1 civilization. Rather specific? I don't give a fuck if I go blind. I don't need to see the price tag. <laughs> Actually, I do very much care if I go blind. I'd be very sad because then I couldn't do this. Man, we're yeah. sitting here smoking that Bhutanese Shadow Garden evil pack. <laughs> This, is the, this is the shit that killed Tupac! <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting about just how insane that rant gets. <laughs> it's pretty fucking great. <laughs> God, it looks like Elvis. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Have uh -huh. you guys heard Dread Zeppelin? Or hey, all? yeah, I'm drunk on blood of my home. Did you <laughs> mention a band by the name of Dread Zeppelin? Yes, I did. This delights me. It's a reggae band, and the lead singer is Elvis, and they do Led Zeppelin covers, and it's actually pretty fucking great. I was but it's say... Dread Zeppelin, I assume, because they have dreadlocks, or? Uh, yeah, I would assume so. I was going to say, Dread said... Zeppelin sounds like a really bad Alabama Habsburgs tribute band. See, you say that, but honestly, I think their version of Your Time Is Gonna Come is better than the Led Zeppelin version. <laughs> oh, oh, look what Quinlis just said! <laughs> That's, wow. That is I mean, exactly what this is. You're, you're not My. wrong. <laughs> I wish that were oh, funny, but you're not wrong. My dessert, my candy corns, my dune. <laughs> the, the spice ain't nothing to me, man. The spicy candy corns must fly. The spice ain't nothing to me, the man. The spice ain't nothing to me, man. I was riding Shiloh before you were a type 1 civilization. I'll let the angels take him. Now, do we mean type sh or type one on the Kardashev scale, or? That was my thought, and I would like to be type one on the Do not worry Kardashev about scale. it. Wacker, let me have my fusion power. So no, build... no, 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 because you I... know what happened last time that you did that. I want to build my fucking spaceship. No. And go fly to Alpha Centauri. No. Okay, all right. You get to explain it to the to the uh, um, the Zeta Reticulans, the FBS, <laughs> the Alphabet. Uh, the FBI. What the fuck's the FBI gonna do? I'm in space. They're trying yeah, get to get up here with your jurisdiction. Sorry, the space spaceship. FBI. My bad. The space FBI. So it's just like two detectives in a fucking Chris rocket B, going up The feds up are space watching us question. right now. I hope you know that. The feds watch these. Well, I things. hope that they like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that they like and subscribe. You know, for a brief moment, you two's tone with each other achieved, like, game grumps. Oh, in addition to the, uh, the other oh, thing... Oh, we're definitely we're, grumpy. The other thing we're going to talk about, I have another announcement that you're not privy to, Storm. I oh, don't boy. like where this... You've been taunting me with this shit and saying, don't worry about it, and that's making me worry a lot more about Crispy, it when you don't say worry that. About, don't worry about it. I, I swear to God, I, if you I, send I'm me shit in now the that mail, he's mentioned that there's one I haven't asked of, or I don't know about. What the fuck did you guys get up to on stream the other day? Don't worry about it. Oh, we didn't get up to it. No, we got down with the sickness. What? Oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Dracula. And Rail, Rail, I remember. I remember the specific thing. I'm scared. There's nothing to be scared of. Death is only a beginning, Crispy. Alright, Jim Jones. 
<laughs> I ain't drinking your fucking flavor. Death aid. is but a window, time is but a doorway, I'll be back. That's what the head said just before it died. It sounds like Pink Floyd lyrics. Ghostbusters 2, you piece of shit. Vigo the Carpathian, son of Mondothia. I seen that in a while. He is Vigo! <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely like a fat Dracula, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Baron Vladimir the Impaler Harkonnen. Shit, man. The Impaler's a dick. Oh, I need the big pizza. This like dra dramatic synth music playing, and I'm drawing this. Lols. <laughs> also, now he's starting to look like a fat cow chocula with these colors I'm picking. Tis the way. Honestly, if I ate as much cow <sighs> chocula as I wanted to, I'd probably end up looking like this guy. Actually, I just realized I probably should not do the other thing that you don't know about Storm yet, because we haven't actually... I am uncomfortable. I'll tell you about it after stream. I'll tell, okay. both, I'll tell both of you guys about it. It's fine. It is not my child. Crispy, don't it. worry about it. You, you fret like an old woman. Yes, I do. It's called having an anxiety disorder. Mixed with obsessive compulsive disorder. When do we do just de depraved, horrible shit to you? We don't do that kind of. Oh stuff. yeah, it's not like there's like hours of recordings at this point. No, like, there isn't. Shit. I, I know. See how dare you imply that we do stuff like that? Yeah. How how dare I? How dare how I imply dare? things that are proven on record? How dare Crispy? Looking Dracula, looking like a bottle of Hershey's chocolate syrup. I am upset by everything you just said. Would you squeeze me? I'd squeeze me. Oh god. I'm just gonna. Actually, I can't wait. I'm gonna be upstart. <laughs> okay, so recent quote. Crispy, you know the FBI could be watching this, Quacker. I hope they like and subscribe, Crispy. Someone please correct this quote. I spit out sparkling water through my nose at this. So You're Night welcome. Owl's, Night Owl's uh, misfortune is part of the quote now. Excellent. Apparently whatever you're making here, Crispy, looks like a dropout from Boogie Nights. <laughs> I, there's got to be at least one Dracula theme stripper. Storm. Yes. Did you read it? Yeah, I, I'm reading them right now because I just realized. Oh. No, what I just sent you in DM. Yeah, no, no, he, I know. This is definitely of... like Count Chocula's fat cousin. Yes. You know he speaks in like a Brooklyn accent too. Oh yeah, I want the uh, second. I'm breaking blood here. If I'm Joe Pesci as a vampire. What, am I fucking fat? Do I look like a fucking vampire? Do I fucking amuse you? Do I got fangs and shit? Do I like fangs and shit? Okay, I now want to see a vampire mafia movie. Just because it'd be stupidly funny. Like, they have Tommy guns, but they shoot, like, little wooden stakes. You know? You got the gear. Alright, vampire head, mafia. Friend. Vampire Mafia is definitely like I don't want to presume because it's not my thing but Knife Fight City Vampire Mafia Are you talking about the vampire stuff or what I sent you Storm? Uh both Okay But now all the gears in my head is turning They take a bite out of crime they're the Vampire Mafia 
Crispy. When crime takes a bite out of you. Shut the fuck up, both of you. Never. You know what? Now that you say that, work, I'm going to draw Vampire Mafia. That's what I'm going to fucking do. The whole Mafia? Well, like, a guy. I don't have time to draw the whole Mafia. That'd be a lot of dudes. Send dudes. Ooh. You mean nudes. No, I'm in a fight. Send dudes. Ew. Honestly, I wish I had that ability to just, like, call people, like, it's Saints Row 3, and I can just, like, call my homies to come back. Me and the boys' game. energy. Yeah. Like, I want a car to just come re careening through someone's yard, and it's just full of, like, a, a punk chick, a gimp, and a ninja. <laughs> He's clearly thought about this because that was a really specific list. And he didn't it's a specific list because <laughs> it's a specific list because that's what you can fucking do in Saints Row 3. You can summon a gang that's made up of like a gimp, a punk girl, and a ninja. I I know. I, I had never seen no Saints Row, but I have seen Crispy Chan. I'll show you some fucking crispy oh, chat. Let me see if I got the photo. Hey, I, how much fucking longer till this stream is over? Oh, quit your bitching. I don't. Aw, oh, damn it. I, I don't have Saints Row 3 installed. I can't show I you my character. I don't. I. No. I, I don't. I don't want to. I, 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 I can't. Oh, quit your old man noises over I there. I don't want to. I don't. Vampire Mafia. Uh, Night Owl has requested the digs be on the minigun. We'll see if I get there. I don't know. We only got like a half hour stream left and I have a pension for detail. Yeah. Crispy, it is pronounced a penchant. Oh. We didn't dump tea in a harbor, so I had to say it with a French accent. Crispy, you, you're shaming your French ancestry here. I do not have French ancestry. I, my ancestry is fucking German. What, what the fuck are you talking about? Your last name is French as fuck, dude. No, it absolutely yeah, it is, is not. It's you French fucking shit. lying bitch ass. It's absolutely French. <laughs> yeah, it's about as French as Orson Welles in that fucking commercial. Ah! Oh, the French. <laughs> Celebrated for their crapulence. There's a California champagne. Bon Masson. Nah. I need to start. I need to start a timer for when this stream is over, so I can. I can. I have the timer. I need don't to worry see about the it. Light at the end. No, I need to see the light at the end of the fucking tunnel. Fucking whack directing like he's in the movie Ten Years a Slave. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I feel I feel like that might have been a bit much. Well, we're already on that warpath. <laughs> <laughs> God. Okay. Ooh lolly, ooh lolly golly, what a oh, damn. Pants provider. Oh Jesus Christ! I just had a thought. And I can't say it on stream. You should DM it to me. I want to know. <laughs> I don't like those noises you're making. I I also have one that I'm sending you, hacker. Oh God. Tell me I'm wrong! 
wrong. Tell you that I'm wrong. That's not what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> how do I, how do I fix that? <laughs> also, I do apologize, Wacker. My German spelling is terrible. I, oh, uh, I, I can, I can fix the the thing that Wacker pointed out to me real quick. Oh God, Storm! I just got it. It took. It was so bad. It took me a minute. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, he's Please looking stay. like a real gabagool. I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. I'll only take half your blood, and you don't say a word to nobody. See if I can draw a Tommy gun from just memory. I need I need text in here to rate my Tommy gun. Rate my Tommy gun. Yeah. Rate my Tommy gun dot com. Rate. Rate. R A T E. Rat. E you fuckhead. Rat E. E you fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> I would be the best on Sesame Street. <laughs> the following contains homicide and is brought to you by the letter M. Hey, uh, yeah, today's letter is E, you fuckhead. No, today's letter is a, today's today's show is brought to you by the letter F. For fuck you, Mike. Why did you go Australian with that? That just got Australian real quick, didn't it? Why did you say, mate? What fucking mobster says that shit? The, the fucking Australian mob. They, they have a violin case and there's a boomerang in it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, why do you guys hurt me so much? It hurts so good. Do you really wanna oh. hurt me? Why? Yes. <laughs> Hold on, let me just put in this ball gag now. You know what I like the most about the Tommy gun? What? There's nothing to do with the name Tommy. What I love best about the Tommy gun is these prices! God, now, now I'm just thinking of Vampire Mafia. Gonna be the sequel to Dracula Flow. Oh my god, just like John Wick, but it's Dracula Flow versus the Vampire Mafia. And then that's like a prequel to my XCOM game because he gets recruited to fight aliens then in the next movie. Why, yes. It's, it's been a while since I've drawn hands. At least in this pose. It's been a long, long row. Getting I can't, from I can't think here. of the words it's been a while without breaking into a stained song. Well, my time is finally here. Cause I got faith. We have a Cookie Mama in chat. Okay. Oh. Hi, Cookie Mama. We're drawing the Vampire the Mafia. Mom is here. Everybody behave. How well, we excuse heard? me, Whacker. It's my turn with the Tommy gun. Hi, Oak. <laughs> Yeah, you just reminded me of that one whitest kid you know sketch when they're playing with a nail gun. 
<laughs> oh, I forgot about that one. Oh, you killed him! Killed him with the nail gun! I don't think I ever saw any of that. Oh, that, that one's great. And then they bring him back with the Necronomicon. He's like, my dick split open and Locust flew out. You said that already. Well, that happened a lot! What? <laughs> Dude, I fucking whitest kids you know is so funny. I'm I'm real sad that one guy in it passed away. R.I.P. Yep, that do be how it do from time to time. This is an absolutely scuffed Tommy gun, but you know what? We ball. That's gonna be your next thing, is uh. When we all finally get bored of you torturing Whacker, you're just gonna torture Tex with cursed Tommy guns. <laughs> oh, I'll draw some cursed guns for Tex. <laughs> Do it. It's like, what if we combined a Makarov with a one of those like rubber <clears throat> ping pong paddle things with the ball and the string? <laughs> Uh, it almost reminds me of the uh, <coughs> horribly inefficient weapon that my... Well, I think we described it as our goal was to make the most um, irresponsible weapon ever. And obviously th this was high schoolers that didn't know shit about weapons, but I think we did a pretty good job. Um, yeah. Which was... So imagine a Tonfa. You know what a Tonfa is, right? Uh, It's kind of like this... It's like almost like a... Um... Oh, the sword. The, like, the little swords, yeah. No, no, that's a sigh. Um, oh, right, Tonfa's like the, the... It's almost like a nightstick. Yeah, deal, that's, yeah. yeah, it's the nightstick. I do not consent to be part of this conversation. Okay, so imagine a Tonfa and a, and a mace. I, and I, they no. are combined to create... Oh, no. They are combined to create a nunchuck. <laughs> the, the Tonfa is also secretly... I... <laughs> I don't so want to. I know. <laughs> I'm having so much trouble finishing because I know the Wacker's gonna hate what comes next. So the Tonfa secretly has a gun stored in it. Oh, it's one of those. <laughs> so it's nunchucks using a Tonfa and a mace. I Did you watch Soul Reaver? Is that where this is coming from? You know, at the time I hadn't yet played Soul Reaver. No. But no, so it's a Tonfa Mace Ninchucks, and the Tonfa is a gun, <laughs> and the Mace has a giant additional spike on top. As oh, you do. Sam, Sam brought up the lightsaber Tonfa in Star Wars. Oh yeah, no way in hell that's gonna end poorly for the guy using it. Did they actually add one? <laughs> I think. See, I, you guys are like put more thought. I was a bit more straightforward through it. My thought was like a grenade launcher, but it shoots like two of those like pineapple frag grenades tied together like a bolo instead of a, you know. A bola. A Ebola. A bolo is a kind of hat. No, bolo is also the little thing. A bolo is. In, uh, yeah, is, is, a, is its own thing. Oh, okay. No, bola. So I don't know what a bolo is then. Yeah, I'm not talking about Ebola. No, I'm. Ta I was saying bolas, like the, the two, metal uh, balls on the end of a rope that you use to. That, tangle someone's well, it's, feet. that's a bolo, not a bola. It's actually three. Little or I guess it could be both. Yeah. Okay, well, whatever. Either I mispronounced the shit out of things, or uh, storm. Well, that doesn't sound possible. Yeah, definitely not you, storm. Be quiet, Wacker. You're being so mean today. What do you mean today? <laughs> he's, usually me? such a, he's usually such a nice whack daddy. You must be speaking to two different people. Storm, sometimes when you pronounce words, it makes my brain itch. You might want to go to a doctor for that. That might be the signs of a, I don't know, brain parasite like the one in Starship Troopers. Excess itching is more of the result, typically, of radiation poisoning. Oh, so it's worse. Okay, I was going, like, the more 50s oh. sci-fi... Oh, well, that... Well, we're, shit. We're going, like, that hey, want to see someone melt? 
Quaid. 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 Open your mind to me, Quaid. Start the reactor, Quaid. Quaid. Oh, man, I need to watch that movie again. Oh, Fucking Total God. Recall's a trip. You, you just reminded me of something... Hmm. I'm not sure I can recount that on stream. <laughs> oh, okay, I save it for after. Yeah, yeah, I'll save it for after. Stream over yet. This just reminded me of last night we were hanging out and someone says like, Yeah, Diggs, you allowed you allowed Crispy to stream and it's like uh -huh. Look, there are 36 people suffering irreparable brain damage right now. Well, I thank you all for being here. Your support means a lot. We value I say that without a hint of irony. I do mean that. I, I appreciate people coming and watching this dumb little stream that I do every Tuesday. Well, we value your time more than you do, clearly. Yeah. Who, me or stream? Cause... Yes. <laughs> Check wow. <my> atheists. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do about it, bitch? I heard that. Who the fuck had the Monty Python ringtone just now? Was that you? Yeah, that was me. It is because he is the wackest of daddies. Oh, wait. Oh, I guess he should have a pop collar, shouldn't he? Oh, well. He vampire mafia man now. Fuck it, vamps your mafia. Actually, I just feel like that's something that you probably run into in Vampire the Masquerade. I don't know. I think I played it once. That's about it. Yeah, admittedly, I was not too into Vampire the Masquerade because of the aforementioned, like, everything feels so dreadful these days. Yeah. Delta Green's fun, though. Yeah, it is. Um, I think it's more like with Vampire the Masquerade, it's just everything felt like unceasing misery no matter what you try. Yeah. No, I, I don't like games like that where it's just complete grim all the time. Like, like um, I I can appreciate the, the game Forever Winter. I appreciate the devs that made it. I appreciate what they're doing because a lot of those guys are like concept artist guys that I used to follow when I was younger. And they're basically just kind of saw how the industry is going and went off to do their own thing. And I really respect that. Like, I really respect those guys and love what they're doing. But I don't think that's a game that I want to play because it's just too grim for me. And yeah. honestly, I get tortured by my own brain enough with, with grim imagery without having to, like, play a game for that, you know? Like, when I game, yeah. I want it to be more of, like, a hopeful thing. I mean, I'm not saying I don't like, you know dark shit happening in games and things. It's just, you know. Yeah. From time to time, you want some escapism or something. Yeah. And then there's people who willingly pay, play Tarkov. Well, I'm, we can't call out people, Techie, but I, I feel like Tarkov just is, is a bad time. I love how you we can't call out people, Techie. Um... Well, it was like the other day I was hanging out with them in chat and they were playing Tarkov, and I was like, so what's Tarkov like? And like, don't get it. Just don't get it. It's it's not worth it. I mean, they, <laughs> uh, they, I they've got Stockholm Syndrome because the developer is like pretty <laughs> Sunk cost fallacy, Stockholm Syndrome, crippling Yeah, that's crack literally what it is. It's like they've already paid money for it. The developer's an asshole, so it's like, don't recommend it to anyone Look, else. But yeah, I, I will say this much. It's still better than Star Citizen because there's actually a game that's so That's finished. the bar, Crispy. Star Citizen is the bar. Star so, Citizen is the low end of the bar. That That is like in the ground. That bar is part of the power line. I think uh, that bar is like the man, the, the core of the, like the exact center of the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Also, like, I don't think you understand just how shitty the developer for Tarkov is. Like, I've... I don't even I'm... play the game, but just hearing about uh, what the stunt they pulled. What did um, they do? 
So they guaranteed at some point that anybody who bought like the super special pass of special passness uh, would never have to pay for DLC again. And then and they, they put up, well, they put up a DLC that was, uh, that was still charged for even if you had the super special pass of passness, on the justification that it was not DLC but an expansion. That is real scummy. And then they, and I don't remember the rest of the story because it gets pretty complicated. You know how a company will double down and then realize, oh god, we've done fucked it. And then, you know, give the half-baked uh, South Park British Petroleum apology? We're sorry, yeah. This company had to septuple down before they finally got the message. Wow. Like, seven times. And then, in their, like, final apology thing, they blamed the audience for being man-children. Oh, yeah, that's a good way to ingratiate your fan base. Yeah, so... No, like... Honestly... Uh... Like, fuck that company. Like, I'm not usually yeah, no, one that's... of those... I'm not usually one of those people that says fuck a company in particular. Fuck that company. I mean, they... There is a level of emotional manipulation that I am... They have a very, to... very niche-specific audience that they cater to that is it's it's not unlike uh like flight sims where the people who play them have you know don't spend a lot of money on the games but when they do they spend absurd amounts on the games this is kind of the niche that that game falls into yeah uh, it's like i mean i think i can just say it it's it's like the gun porn game for gun people more yeah. so than our man yeah yeah, it's... Oh, far, far more so. Like, it, 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 like that's the point yeah. of this game. Is good. Arma wishes it had people addicted to it like this does. Yeah. Because you have uh, to remember, like you said, it's like, you don't know how some people could play that game and enjoy it. And cookie! Even people, and even the people that enjoy it tell you not to get it. Yeah. It's like, Yeah. Yeah, like train sim people, flight sim people, oh, God. And now apparently gun people. Also, Cookie, Cookie is, yeah, Cookie with the steel chair. What'd she say? Yeah. She said oh, my no. face is a niche. <laughs> wow, this is true. Don't use my dark magic against me, madam. Counterpoint, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not surprised Tarkov is full of cheaters. It feels like that kind of game. Yeah, yeah they, they have that other problem of, like, they have to reset the servers every few months to clean out the cheaters, and within two weeks, they're all back. Yeah. That's real fun. It doesn't I guess help. apparently TF2 had that problem, but for what I think uh, Super Chief said... The one time I talked to them about it, they like kind of went through a cleared house and just like got rid of all those pe like bots and cheaters and stuff. Well, yeah, that was that was one of the points where the other thing is Tarkov's developer is, if I understand it right, they work in a country where they don't have as many regulations on them. Ah, uh... and so there's stuff that they'll try to pull that say like Microsoft companies wouldn't try to pull. They're one of the very, play. very few countries that does not have games on Steam. Cough, cough, cough. I think yeah. I can guess which country you're referring to, especially given the name. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Tarkov is produced by people from uh, Spain. Ah, uh, yes. Far West Spain. Spanish Tarkov. Sparkov. The part of Spain where you can get a succulent Chinese meal. Oh, you have quite the grip there. Okay, so I don't actually know what the meme of the succulent Chinese meal is from. What, what is that about? It's this one dude getting arrested, and he's just saying, like, all this shit. It's, it's, the, it's that Australian guy that conned everyone... <laughs> Like conned his way out of jail a couple a couple times and shit like that. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so just one of his more absurd moments. I guess so, yeah. Or one that was caught on camera or something. Yeah. Okay. Of sense does this make? It's something. Yeah, Vampire Mafia. <laughs> I forgot about this guy. This is... <laughs> this is what would happen if Storm resorted to crime. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> this is what would happen if Storm resorted to crying? crime? Crime. Oh, crime. Yeah, see? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> wait. Wait, the guy, the con artist we were talking about? or Watch the, the video I sent you. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Okay, I thought you were talking about Vampire Mafia still. Yeah, I'm not that chubby anymore. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I'll give it to you. I, I would probably pull some shit like that if I was being yep. arrested. Uh, yep. No, chances are I would probably be crying like a child, begging them. Oh, like, no, no, yeah. I, 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 that'd be the same way. Don't take me to actual pound my ass penitentiary. I'll be I'm too soft for jail. <laughs> No, okay, so no, that guy is what would happen if Mad Ducks resorted to a life of crime. Yeah. <laughs> I can see ducks yelling about a succulent Chinese meal. <laughs> yeah, Vampire Mafia. Eh. But it's worse, t or <laughs> it's worse, Crispy. It's not just a vampire. It's an extremely powerful variant known for its huge muscles and enraged testosterone glands. It's a manpire. He's just got the hairiest chest. <laughs> I can hear Wacker trying to cover his eyes with his ears after what I just said. I think Wagger's just about done. Alright. Well, we are on the last three minutes of the stream, so Wacker, you have that announcement to make. Yeah. What is this? Uh, oh yeah, we are. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, so, as everybody here knows, um, there is a new annual event that happens in the Aux, which is the uh, Aux mayorship election that is going on and we have a proud tradition every year of railroading somebody into it who clearly does no, not want to do this no no i'm gonna say it again so no no we are no. proudly announcing crispy's candidacy no. for mayorship no. No. Right, everyone vote for no. crispy vote it's for the crispy no. he'll regret and you are... won't Yes. Oh, God damn Chris it. is here for this. We are all No, I this. am not. We are this using this moment to stump for Crispy. I was there when Crispy held back the Soviet Union. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a man I can believe in. Crispy believes in America. I yeah. believe I'm going to have to make a flight out to see you, Storm. I'm gonna have to make a flight out to see you, Wacker, because I both, I owe you both a kick to the balls. So, <laughs> so, yep. This is this is the this is the formal kickoff of the Crispy for Ox Mayor. <sighs> yep. Remember, everyone, vote Crispy for Mayor. Vote, vote Crispy for Mayor. Free yep. Furbies for everyone. Counterpoint, yep. don't. <laughs> 
See, he's so humble. He's the kind uh, of man we need in the office. And also, oh, Rail God. wanted me very specifically to say this. Hush, Crispy, I'm speaking for you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Remember, everyone, Crispy wants to be your mayor for life. No, Crispy, I don't. Goodbye. Crispy, Goodbye, Crispy everyone. Hot single mayors in your We're going to end the stream now. We're going to go away now. I have, to, I have to go beat both my co hosts with a cricket bat. Well, anyways, all of that aside... Be frisky, vote crispy! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs>